Hi, I am Dr. Meenu Batra Parshuram, Consultant Radiologist, Fetal Maternal Medicine Unit, Saimar Hospital. So today I will be talking to you about uh, a scenario where you have an anomalous baby that is detected on ultrasound and what do you do next. For any one of us, when you have the news that you know you are pregnant, that's one of the most exciting or one of the most happiest moment in a couple's life. And out of that excitement, you really don't know what to do next. It's a mixture of emotions that goes inside your heart. But sometimes, well, the journey is not always happy and you end up having some bad news like the doctor telling you that there is a problem with the baby. Now, when we talk about a problem or an anomaly that has been detected on ultrasound, the moment you hear that news, the whole world is shattered. It's actually like your world is turned upside down and your mind goes completely blank. You're not able to understand what your doctor is trying to tell you. At this particular time, it is very important for you to maintain your calm and composure. So what we need to understand here is that when you have an anomaly that's detected on scan, it can either be a connect correctable abnormality for which you have surgical or other medical therapeutic options or at the other hand, you can have a severe abnormality for which nothing can be done during this pregnancy. Now talking about the correctable abnormalities first, before we take that step ahead of continuing the pregnancy and decide, deciding on how and when the correction of that particular problem needs to be done, it's very important that your baby undergoes a few genetic tests to rule out that the baby is genetically normal so that we know that the only problem that you are dealing here is correction of that particular abnormality. For example, if it is a heart abnormality or if the baby is having a slight deviation of the foot, we need to rule out the genetic abnormalities to make sure that that is the only thing that we are going to deal with and we know that it is something that is correctable in future. Now coming to the second part, when you have a severe abnormality detected, where your doctor tells you, you know, there is no hope, all you can do is decide to not continue the pregnancy. And the very next reaction is, yeah, I don't want to do anything else. I just want to get rid of this baby as soon as possible. Well, you're not completely wrong in saying that because there's a lot of emotional attachment. There's a lot of grief that you're undergoing. But then what we also need to understand is that this baby is carrying a lot of information along with it. So before you decide to terminate or just get away with this pregnancy, it's important that you get the baby evaluated properly in detail. Now why is it important? It's important because it will help you answer a lot of questions. Because the moment you hear the news from your doctor that the baby is having a problem, you have a lot of questions in your mind. Why did this happen to me? Did this happen to me because I have a problem? Or is there a problem in my family or my husband or myself? What is the chance that again the next time I get pregnant, I'll have a similar kind of problem? Now, if you can maintain your composure and take the decision of agreeing with your doctor and going through a certain set of tests, tests like fetal autopsy, which is basically the post-mortem examination of the baby. Now, all these tests can help us in helping you by finding out what is the chance that this can happen again, whether this is a correctable abnormality or something that we can do to treat it in the next pregnancy or there are any additional tests that can be done earlier in pregnancy rather than waiting till the fifth month scan. So I think it's very important. Yes, pregnancy is a very exciting news, but not always it will be accompanied with happy moments. Sometimes you can have bad news and these are the difficult times where it's important that you can, you should maintain your calmness and composure and go along with your doctor hand in hand so that we can make sure that you have a normal and a healthy baby. Thank you.